Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with Taurus, and the message is actually for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. Everything is down below in the description box. So we have Instagram. Uh, website link everything is located down below and thank you guys so much wow that did pop out earlier thank you guys so much for liking subscribing thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel here we freaking go all right truths removing a veil of deception Um, that's, that's going to be coming up in layers. Okay. So Neptune is super close to coming out of retrograde, which means that a veil literally could be lifting in some really interesting way. If you felt foggy or lethargy, whatever the whatever the factor is that's been contributing to that whatever it looks like because obviously neptune is a wide range of things it's it can be inflammation it can be a whole bunch of things that are involved in this okay but this removing the veil of deception it's happening from you you're about to go through some kind of wake-up call all right seeing things very clearly it could be involving some kind of deception in your life. I do feel like you're about to wake up to some energy and this might actually surprise you. This person doesn't cry. I know that that's a very strange thing to point out, but this person, um, they're not emotional. So I guess that's like the indication to talk about this person never cries they're not an emotional person and they have the destroyer on top this person might want to destroy you what you have i don't know what has happened it could have been because this person was like um upset by something that you weren't seeing for a while and that's why it's coming up because even this x-ray is like there could be a person here you you might be seeing under the surface of someone or something and over here what popped out we have the one over here that also could be in the environment there's a definite kind of like i don't know if there's like a trine happening and we have attraction here Okay, Taurus, what's going on here? DNA. Oh, I'm only saying that because of that. All right. Yeah, there's someone in the environment, and I feel like you're totally aware that this person, like, just freaking has it out for you. <laughs> I'm just going to say it really straight up like that. Um, you also might have another energy somewhere in the environment as like the one, the chosen one. I don't usually say things like that. You, it might be a partnership. I don't know. There's just someone like that in the environment in some very particular way. You're about to like go through an awakening. I also feel like you've been doing something very specific and it's been... You like uncovered something specific about someone's process. Like you could have been involved in something over here. I'm not totally sure what it is. But this person is like, what's frustrating this person so much is that it's not like they're not going to try, but they either don't have all the pieces or the facts. I don't know if they're under some kind of illusion. They either don't know, um, they see you as being very strong, courageous, 
you probably just are having to stay really strong at this time. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, that's some kind of, could be a trauma. And there's the Ten of Swords. Oh yeah. Oh shiz, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that's why they're upset because of this Empress. Okay, this could be involving beauty or just that archetype in general. This is Venusian energy, which is your ruler. We have the Hermit in reverse. Okay, this is very intense. And then we have the Temperance. All right, so for those of you that are dealing with this situation, this person, their weakness, I do want to say that because of the strength card, their weakness is um, they lack patience. This person is like growing very impatient right now. They also are not spending time to get in touch with their inner self. So like they're very disconnected from themselves. I feel like because a lot of their attention is on you just in general, but just that's what it's about. This person right now, they want to get something going. Like they're, they want to take action in some particular way. Um, I'm also getting for some of this, for some of you guys like this hermit in reverse, this person isn't very shy or they, they're not keeping something hidden. Um, they could have done something or revealed something that gave it away what they're up to or and maybe you came across it but you're like waking up to some kind of situation we have the six of wands right there this person might be bothered that you're in the spotlight or thinks that you're receiving some kind of recognition or attention for something like. Oh, they're going to be freaking traveling. Shiz. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. I don't mean to freak you guys out, but they're, yeah. They're traveling. There also could be another person that's like making really fast movements. They're planning to, they they have no patience they're making movements right now this will be very interesting to see what transpires because this person didn't tap into their inner self at all regarding this situation they're not paying attention at all to their inner self or if something's accurate which also is telling me that they keep losing patience they keep um like it's like something keeps backfiring or they have this strong attraction element towards you because this person might feel like they see something underneath the surface with this x-ray energy. I don't know if this is happening on both sides, but there's a person here that might be um, looking under the surface of something or they see underneath. You might have that going on. Like some kind of... You're you're able to see a deeper aspect of this person, almost like what they're operating from. Because some of you guys, if you're sitting in this elevated position, which is a lot of mastery, to be honest, like the strength card, the empress, um, something could be helping you to feel very strong at this time. But the x-ray, like it's really interesting because I wonder if you have some, some kind of like, I'm not sure how to verbalize this. What was it? I caught, I lost it. I caught on to some kind of image. You can like pick up on a motivation within them. Also, if this person is being manipulated by another, they There's a person that you might know how they operate because they have something deeper and internalized that a manipulator is using to manipulate them. Like it's some kind of internalized 
it's it's like a need that was never fulfilled or they were neglected and there's a manipulator that is <clears throat> influencing another person in their movements and or maybe to get this person to travel um because this person is hoping or thinking that this will like be the thing there's an intention here to make sure that you don't get back up because you keep getting back up or things keep ending up in triumph or victory for you and maybe it's just like something about your life path or something interesting i don't know why i'm still shuffling page of wands this person is like impulsive um they might yeah, there's immaturity. There's two energies here that are working together. They're very worried about financial stability at this time. Okay. Um, they took the wrong advice. They, they're they dealing with energies that are out of balance. They also might be drinking a lot or um, doing a lot of things like health-wise. This is health-wise. That's why there's a person here that could be you realize they're doing something almost like a drunken stupor they that could be a part of this veil like what it appears to be because this person becomes really influenced by some kind of thing that they're partaking in it could be even a food item it's something there that totally triggers this person and now this person's like taking action in some particular way i kind of get the feeling that this person is going to go through a bit of an awakening when they it, it, um i don't know if this person is coming towards you or something strange like that but it's the dna how very fascinating i was talking a little bit about this in someone else's reading there could be something here where a person might underestimate your strength or they're, they're, like, calculations are off, okay? This person might think, like, oh, you're this way, and it's going to be different when they interact, okay? Because, like, also, if this person shifts environments, they're going to feel a lack of security. They might be trying to make their movements to continue security, but I'll tell you guys, like, feeling secure in an environment is everything <laughs> freaking everything and your ability to go into an environment and stay strong when it's out of your comfort zone that's a flex like that is real freaking mastery relocations and things like that and being able to still hold your power that's like whole different level trust me on that shiz so yeah there's a person here if they shift environments you just have to stay focused that's all you have to do this could be about distraction someone might be trying to distract you but that's the main that's the name of the game for you okay x-ray they're moving taurus so yeah, i'm sure you know it but there's your confirmation. Well, let's dive into the extended, shall we? If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But um, Taurus, if this is where we leave things, sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care. Shit. <laughs>